Our radio listeners across central Alabama are mourning the loss of a longtime radio host. Yeah, WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough shows us how Lisa Mason made a big impact on listeners and also on her co-workers. Yeah. Yeah. What you heard on the air is what you got off the air. Justin Ragland worked with Lisa Mason for her entire 17-year run at 106.9 The Eagle. Probably one of the most talented radio personalities I'd ever met and ever worked with. The popular morning show host died this week from health complications, forever changing the place she called home for nearly two decades. You know, you, you don't just have co-workers at that point. You have friends and family um, that care about you. Um, she was just an integral part of the radio station. So Lisa walked through this door at 4 o'clock every morning, came right over here, started getting to work. At 5 o'clock, she hit the airwaves, was on till 10 o'clock all by herself. Fantastic person. Listeners loved her. And some of those loyal listeners have been calling in to share their memories. Hard to even comprehend because I listen to her so much. Lisa has touched so many lives. Lisa has done for so many people. You could dedicate every song on the radio and it'd never be enough. Lisa was a beautiful person. She had a very loving heart. A loving heart those who knew her say can never be replaced. We'll never refill that position on the morning show on 106.9. Um, there's no way to refill what we had with Lisa. But remembering all that Lisa Mason did during her time in front of the microphone. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.